Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So today we're taking a look at another kit in the Gundam Age line. This time it's on the Advanced Grade Age 1 Normal. Now before we actually get into that, I'll talk about a couple of things because, hey, spoiler alert, this is going to be a very short video of the particular kit. And that's just because it's really small. Now what I do want to talk about is that this is the 10 year anniversary for Gundam Age. It debuted in October 2011 and sure enough it was a time to be alive in my opinion. I think the model kit line as a whole whether it was the high grade or it was the master grade line I think they did a fantastic job with just making those kits some of the best modern kits we've ever seen. This is coming pretty much right after Double O, and Double O was really good. I really didn't have too many issues with the model kits from that generation. They were just very sticker heavy, or they just didn't have a lot of like details or things to it. Um, some kits were you know better than the others, but I think for the most part, those kits were just like okay. They were good at articulation, but there was still a lot of things missing. Now enter the age line, and the high grades were just phenomenal. I think even some of the weaker ones, which were basically the Vegan line, those, although they had ball jointed hips, they could still do great poses, and they looked fantastic on the shelf. I had no issues with them whatsoever. Now let's talk about the advanced grade line. It's basically a stepping stone into Plamo, and it is the successor to the first grade line that existed before it. Now we do have like the entry grade line now, and those are fantastic kits. I do love the RX-78 from there, and a lot of the basic like Kamen Rider or even like the Dragon Ball Z uh, entry grade kits, those look pretty good in my opinion. This actually is something that looks great as well. Very minimum paint is needed, but I would recommend using you know paint or whatever you can to kind of spice it up. These are gonna be just fixed pose figures, and the best thing about these is they serve a purpose outside of just being shelf warmers. Now what's cool with the advanced grade line is that they come with this little chip right inside, and they connect with the arcade game, I think it's just called gauging. I honestly cannot remember this arcade when I was living out here in 2011, 2012, and it's pretty much discontinued. So trying to find an actual arcade to use these for that is basically going to be impossible. But I do actually have the age device that is used as like more or less a save data device for the system itself. So I think you basically just like use this and collect the data from the actual battles. But enough about that, let's talk about the model. So the advanced grade is pretty cool. I do enjoy it, it's just very simplistic. The only points of articulation that this thing has is going to be in the shoulders and in the head. Now you can also rotate the shield, but that's really about it. This one in particular is the clear version. Uh, I do believe this one was like at a Wonderfest or somewhere along those lines, like some kind of like, you know, Japan convention. But it's really cool. I do like the, you know, clear look of it. Most of it is color separated. Uh, the only thing that you're really going to have to paint is probably just like the age color, like the the green on the inside. I I painted that with just a gun marker. It didn't come out well because I probably should have did like a chrome and then some clear green uh, on top of that. But it is what it is. And then I did the black on the knees. But realistically, other than that, it's really good. It's very color accurate. Um, I, I really don't have any issues with it. And it is the only clear Gundam Age 1 normal that is currently out. We've never seen like a high grade or master grade clear version. And I'm kind of a sucker for clear versions. Uh, more or less the clear color versions and not like the, the straight clear or mechanical clear. I, I, I'm just really all for the clear color, and I know that a lot of people aren't. Now for the accessories, it is going to have the Dodge Rifle, it does have the shield, and it's gonna come with two all red beam sabers. The beam sabers look pretty goofy, uh, because for one, they're colored in all red, but not just that, it's because they're, looks like it's more of the daggers. This is a one in 144 scale model kit, but these are so much shorter than the actual beam sabers that you get in the high grade, so these, Kind of appear more like the beam daggers, and honestly, it doesn't look good with the beam sabers or beam daggers in hand anyway. I would just omit them completely. Now, for my grading scale, this is really a tough one because I can't say like, "Oh, you must have this in your collection." Because for one, you know, talking about the clear version, not everyone likes clear, and even if I was talking about the normal version, 
not everyone really wants to build an advanced kit and or advanced grade kit and put it in their collection. Most people are probably thinking it's just a waste of time. And I do agree. It's something that is very niche and very much targeted towards a very particular set of groups. So it's probably more targeted towards the kids or the you know beginners that really want to get into this. But you have things like the RX-78-2 entry grade. Just get that. Then you have all the Gundam Age fanatics like myself. And there's only about five of us. I think there might be six because someone on Twitter said like Gundam Age. So with all six of us, I would say it's a watch it because this thing is pretty expensive nowadays. I mean, I paid 10 bucks. That's a re- reasonable price in my opinion. But I've been seeing it go for upwards like $20. $20 for this clear model kit that is for a discontinued arcade system is completely overpriced so i would say this will be a watch it but only if you really have the desire to get something like this so if you're in a very certain group cool watch it everyone else i'm pretty much going to say it to drop it you are probably not going to get much enjoyment out of this unless you're just a really big age fan or you're a beginning level you know plomo guy or girl just get into something else. Get the uh, entry grade Arc 78. Get the entry grade uh, Kamen Rider Saber. Get the entry grade Dragon Ball Z characters, or even the entry grade Pac Man. I think that just came out. So those are much better entries into the uh, hobby than just grabbing this because you'd have. I don't know. I don't think you would have the same uh, attachment to it unless you've seen the show. But that's it for me, guys. Honestly, I just want to get a quick review of this out because. I don't think anyone's ever reviewed the advanced grade clear Gundam Mage 1 normal. So hopefully I'm the first one. And that's going to be, you know, yeah, really cool. But that's it for me, guys. Thank you all to the members who always make this happen. Uh, you guys are fantastic. And I'll be seeing you in the next Gundam review. Bye-bye.